Hello friends, this is Dr. Ranjini, Assistant Professor in Biotechnology. Today, we learn about the D and L notations of sugars. The notations D and L are used to describe the configurations of carbohydrates and amino acids. So, when we write uh, glucose, we write D glucose and when we write uh, glyceraldehyde, D glyceraldehyde or lactic acid, D lactic acid or L lactic acid. So, these are the notations used to the describe the configurations of carbohydrates and amino acids. The glyceraldehyde has been chosen as arbitrary standard for D and L notation in sugar chemistry. So, this is an arbitrary standard to describe the D and L notations of the molecule in chemistry because this has an asymmetric carbon and can exist as a pair of enantiomers. This has an asymmetric carbon, single asymmetric carbon. What is asymmetric carbon? This is the carbon atom attached to four different functional group. So, such type of carbon is called as asymmetric carbon or the chiral carbon. So, this exists as pair of enantiomers. So, what are enantiomers that are mirror images of each other that are non superimposable? They are not superimposable, but they are mirror images of each other, such as one's left and right hands are mirror images of other that cannot appear identical simply by reorientation. So, this is the the D-glyceraldehyde uh, structure and L-glyceraldehyde structure. Here, this is the Fisher projection structure. You will be learning about Fisher projection and Haver structure of few monosaccharide. This is a open chain structure wherein you have in the D-glyceride OH towards the right side and in L-glyceride you have the OH towards the left side. So, in Fisher projection, the carbonyl group is always placed on the top position of the monosaccharide. So, carbonyl group in glyceraldehyde here is the aldehyde. So, that is present on the top position of the monosaccharide and here you can see this is the structure of D-glyceride and this is the structure of L-glyceride and they are the mirror images. So, if you just keep the mirror here, so OH will be adjacent to each other and H are far from each other. But when you see the D-glyceraldehyde structure, it is having OH towards right side and in L-glyceraldehyde it is towards the left side. So, this is the Fisher projection structure of the, the sugars. From its structure, if the OH group is attached to the bottom most asymmetric center to the bottom most asymmetric carbon atom that is the second from the bottom that is second from the bottom this is the first carbon atom and the second most carbon atom from the bottom here if the OH group is towards the right side then it is called D sugar the bottom most chiral carbon if it has the OH group towards the right side then it is D sugar if the OH group is on the left side, if the OH group is on the left side, then the compound is L sugar. If the OH is towards the left side on the bottommost chiral carbon, then it is L sugar. In general, almost all the sugars found in nature are D sugar. Almost all sugars are D sugars having the OH on the bottom uh, chiral carbon on the right side and this capital D and capital L indicate the configuration of an asymmetric carbon. So, where OH is there, where H is there, but they do not indicate whether the compound rotates the plane polarized light either to the right or to the left. So, this capital D and capital L should not be confused with the optical rotation of the molecule that will be represented by small d and small l. Okay. So, this d and l will tell you only the, the configuration or the functional group position on the asymmetric carbon atom. For example, D-glyceraldehyde. 
D glyceraldehyde is dextro rotatory. It is having the OH towards the right side. Similarly, the D lactic acid which is having the OH towards the right side is leo rotatory. That means leo rotatory means it rotates the plane polarized light towards the left side. Whereas D glyceraldehyde rotates the plane polarized light towards the right side. Okay. So, this uh, D and L notations should not be confused with the optical rotation of the molecule. In other words, in other words, optical rotation like melting points or the boiling point is a physical property of a compound, is a physical property of a compound where it rotates the plane polarized light either towards left side or towards right side. I hope you understood today's topic that is how you denote the sugar as the D sugar or the L sugar depending on the configuration of the the chiral carbon having